can guess this is the Tritonian mini worm by Naka. I actually made the video yesterday, but I messed up the audio balance. I'm a professional. Alright, so the mini worm is a subterranean submarine vehicle, meaning that this vehicle can actually go and travel underground. And you know, not just downward, the vehicle use wheels on all sides of the vehicle as well as a lot of thrusters which is helped by these new flat thrusters as well to allow the vehicle to well actually move underground this is actually something that i've been wanting to make for a while now like a subterranean submarine we don't talk about those things we also have like a lot of connectors on the vehicle which I guess is to eject the rock and minerals from the vehicle as you travel underground. Oh, by the way, the vehicle costs 54,351 PCO with 6,423 blocks. Now, this is obviously a lot of PCO, but you can actually just use like a single section of the vehicle, uh, like this here, and a single section like this one will only cost you 5022 PCO with 499 blocks. The vehicle used this uh, simple hinges and rotor mechanism. We got an antenna and you know all the things that you need on a vehicle like this like the gyroscopes and well we also got an ore detector and this you know fancy LCD hut here which I don't think is really that necessary because you already got a hut on the actual cockpit of the vehicle itself. So, this vehicle can actually drive on the surface as well. And well, while it's driving on the ground, you guys can see that it's doing some kind of a worm movement. I'm not sure if that's like intentional or not by the creator of the vehicle. That looks pretty cool though. Hmm, I actually didn't drive this to full speed on the surface yesterday i'm gonna try to drive to full speed here and see what happens 60 meters per second oh, oh wait a second ah uh. oh we're, we're fine because we have like, you know, these wheels on all sides of the vehicle. Even if you flip the vehicle over, the damage will be relatively minimal. That was still quite the crest though. It's like driving a train without a train tech is pretty cool. Alright, well, I'm gonna show you guys how this vehicle drives underground. <clears throat> I'll just keep using this one. Alright, here goes. You just use the right click function on the drill so that you, you know, drill a bigger hole and well, because the radius or the circumference, I don't know well, the size of the hole is bigger than the vehicle itself the vehicle can turn while inside the hole as you guys can see here, we're starting to level with the horizon uh, let's keep going underground and eventually, we will be able to actually go back up again oh, let me just do a complete turn here come on move upward oh there we go we are finally pointing upward again hmm let's see the, the back of the vehicle here oh it's very nice right it's like an actual worm even with the damage from the crash back then this vehicle is still rather functional i do like the lighting work as well on the vehicle really make this whole thing more atmospheric but yeah, well, as you guys can see here, using this vehicle, you can actually live properly underground. And you know, if you need like power, you can just use a wind turbine, which works underground on space engineers. Or you know, you can just use a refinery and you can keep building new batteries using your assembler. Alright, I'm gonna save our progress. You know what time it is. Let's see how well this thing can go downhill. Alright, are you guys ready? Oh, I broke something there. Alright, here it goes. Come on. Mm, I'm gonna try to stay as level as possible with the... Oh no. My tail! Huh? Hold on. Uh, uh, move forward. No, 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 no. 
Alright, maybe I need to rotate the other way around. Oh, there goes my microphone. Hold on. My my microphone fell off. Ah. <laughs> uh. oh, Alright, I'm fine. Oh. Oh, there goes the connection between the sections. Uh, I mean. Huh. The front section is still pretty functional though. Hold on. <laughs> that was quite the crest though. Hold on, can I actually still drive this thing properly? Uh, yeah, there we go. I can flip the vehicle. And well, this thing is actually still pretty drivable. Even on this state right now. That's amazing. Oh, ah. Uh, we're fine. It's like a runaway train. <laughs> But yeah, um, that was quite the crest though. Pretty dramatic. For what this vehicle is, I would say it's pretty resilient. Look at all those parts there. Alright, let's load our safe. I'm just gonna drill a tiny hole below the vehicle here. And then we're gonna make a small cave down here. Alright, so let's say that there's a small enemy base down there obviously you cannot like fit a proper weapon on this vehicle because of the you know hole clearance so we're just gonna put some explosive in the vehicle hmm <coughs> maybe on the second car right uh like this maybe uh here as well yeah uh, i don't think we will need to fill up the whole set of cars with the explosive just uh the ones to the front here so basically, we're gonna use this vehicle as an explosive delivery vehicle to the underground base. Group the warheads together. Count down uh, 5 seconds. Bind the warhead. Alright, I guess ready. Here it goes. The base should be right below us. Come on. Come on. Uh, are we actually... Uh, where's, where's the enemy base? Oh, there you go! Uh, Alright! Oh, no, no, no! Start the countdown! Uh, get away! Wait! Ah! Uh. Oh! Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. Well! <laughs> I guess the small warheads don't have the explosion big enough to actually destroy this base here. But, but you know, well... As you guys can see here, if you actually want to use this vehicle as a way to infiltrate an enemy's underground base, then you'll be able to do it. Here, uh, I'm gonna do it for real here. Uh, wait for it. Wait for it. Uh, uh. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, I guess a lot of the base are like, you know, embedded in voxel. Look at that thing though. <laughs> but yeah, well, as you guys can see there, this vehicle really works in terms of actually being able to move underground practically. And well, if you actually want to use this on actual survival, even on servers with low PC limit, you would still be able to do it because you know you can just cut like all the other cars other than one or two of them and you'll be able to actually practically build this on survival say so, that's the toritonian mini worm by naka you guys can find the link in the description below